demonstrate the basic usage of the roof scope here. Okay, so uh, when you get a file, you should have this kind of structure. Uh, my roof scope C, and this is the class that roof scope uh, reside in, and uh, my dialog H and my utility H here, just three, and it's a manual and it has the roof file in the folder it's called the uh, roof scope light here so uh, I would uh, bear a follow the manuscript sorry manual uh, to demonstrate how to use it so uh, very first um, let me show you how to run the script here so um, this GUI application actually just a macro uh, or a script so you can just directly run it so uh, as you type root my root scope that C and actually uh, you will go to very end here to execute this function here so in this function I have four uh, if statement uh, each of them would uh, be the demonstration for the constructor different constructor here so uh, for example if I want to use uh, Okay, this one. So let's just um, change to zero here. So uh, there are four constructor in the root scope here. So um, you will have you can load in one a single uh, one dimensional screen or two dimensional screen, and you don't need to load anything at the first time. Or you can load in a root file that contain a uh, histogram, uh, or 1D histogram, or a, a lot of 1D histogram. So, as I said, I use uh, this statement here, so it will just load a 2D matrix. Okay, so, not 2D matrix, sorry, 2D histogram. <laughs> okay, alright, so this histogram is just that uh, we created here. Uh, is uh, use their G random is a is a pointer to help us to get some random number in the field uh, by ten thousand entries. So let's go. So we hit enter. And wait for a second. Okay. So you get this very good. Okay. So this uh, you have two D histograms. So it's he actually here. And you can back to the one, uh, sorry, uh, two one D user grant by some shortcuts here. I will tell you later, but just here I will demonstrate how to use constructor. So when you load a two D histogram, it will automatically create the full projection um, S and Y. So you have two here. Initially, we just load in. A 2D histogram. Now you create a full projection automatically. All right. So I will show you some very useful command later. So we close that. Now, similarly, you can load in one dimensional histogram, or you don't need to load anything, but you can use some um, public member function to add. Uh, 2D histogram or 1D histogram by right here. And the final one uh, is to load a root file here. So when it lo load in a root file, it would uh, append, append all the 1D histogram to our uh, histogram list. But if you have more than two 2D histogram, it just will keep the last one for you because uh, the root scope design just for a um, uh, matrix or a 2D screen projection so it just need one there alright so uh, let's try it very quickly so again we uh, by the way this is a root, num root version 6 um, and my root the root scope uh, work good for version 6 but not very good for version 5 
if you want to use version 5, I recommend use a light version. And it's work. Okay. So back to the constructor demonstration here. Let's type in. Okay. All right. So it. Um, it has a uh, 2D scram, so when you load in, it automatically creates a projection for you. And it originally has two uh, 1D scrams, so it's uh, number three and four here. So you can see one and three should be the same. Yes, they are the same. Okay. All right. This is just a very simple demonstration of the constructor. So the next thing is to, if you don't want to um, execute, you want to compile, it's possible. So to compile it, as many other uh, macro does, just use um, the x and my root scope, then you pl uh, add a plus sign in. So you were doing like something called no, 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 a lot of warning sign. <laughs> no. Okay, you go to the very end here. But oh, it has created a shared library for you. Let me show you the creator here. So actually, you can use, uh, you create your uh, root logon.c file here. Uh, you can load in uh, when you log in as root section here. So if I type root, then I suppose you got the root scope. Scope, yes, here. Now you can you can just uh, create your application or or do anything you want. Okay. So basically if you just dot x you will uh, execute this guy here, my root scope function here, and actually it also um, uh, loaded this uh, class, so whenever you, you, which way you want, so you can very, very easily to access this file. Okay, so I think this is the first part I want to demonstrate. Uh, I will go through another key um, features so uh, how what the hotkey is in the next section. Thank you for watching.